And it is pretty active out there. A lot of hail, a lot of Lightning. significant weather advisories for sure. That's a what severe we are thunderstorm working. warning is in effect until 6:45, you guys, and that is for Orange County, eastern sections of Lake County. We've got a lot of wet roads to do. Yeah, we do, and that always complicates things. We've got a couple accidents. I don't know that they're weather related, but I can see the lightning. I can see the rain on the live camera, so it's out there. Yeah, Candace Campos with me here. Mm -hmm. We are going to pinpoint this through noon, even through the early yeah. afternoon. The good news is it tapers off a bit later this afternoon. Yeah, but the kids are heading home yeah. rather than heading to school. Right, but this morning, wet and stormy. Let's get you right to it and show you what we are pinpointing. You can see all of it moving in from the Gulf of Mexico well ahead of the actual cold front, and we are going to pinpoint the chance for some large hail. The worst weather right now, this is the severe thunderstorm warning, in effect, right on top of Windermere now, even up to Ocoee, and this will be off to the east, moving at about 30 miles an hour, so it's moving very quickly across central Florida. That risk of severe weather is there. In fact, we will see the risk for some very heavy rain adding up through the lunch hour. Rain totals up to three inches an hour in some spots. Winds up to 60 miles an hour. A lot of lightning and the possibility of a couple of rotating storms that could lead to tornadoes. Candace Campos with more on the timing of what to expect into the future. Yeah, Candace. we will continue to see waves of these strong storms. Again, like, like Troy's been talking about, we are going to be seeing the concern primarily during the lunchtime hour between about nine and noon. That will be our big concern. And you can see here the darker the shades, the heavier the rain. You can see stretching from the villages, the lakes, Sumter County, Orange County, Osceola, Brevard, everyone will be in the mix by about lunchtime, which is why those rain chances do go up to about a guaranteed 100%. We normally don't do that 100% unless we do see models like that. But look how quickly things clear out by about 4 o'clock. Just a few isolated showers. Once that front finally clears, we will say goodbye to all that moisture, and some cooler air will start to filter in from north to south. South, all thanks to that cold front. Speaking of temperatures, we are going to continue to see those temperatures also cooling down into the upper set, uh, upper 60s to low 70s oh, yeah. by about tomorrow at tomorrow evening. Temperatures making a big change because of this front finally moving through. One in the afternoon today, a few lingering showers and storms, and then, as Candace pointed out, a lot of that pushes out tonight, and then we see the impacts of the actual front. Right now, we're at 74 in Orlando, 72 in Ocala, 75 at Cocoa Beach. Here's a look at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. And that coverage of rain 100% at lunchtime, tapering off to 40% into the afternoon, a high of 78 today. So temperatures staying steady in the 70s. Low 70s around 70 degrees tonight for your evening plans. And as Candace mentioned, much of that rain tapers off. Upper 70s in most spots today. Tomorrow, 82, because we'll actually see some sunshine on Cinco de Mayo as we dry out. But look at these temperatures. Here's what Candace was mentioning morning lows in the 50s, afternoon highs. Highs only at 78 with lots of sunshine on Friday. Mother's Day weekend, we've timed it perfectly, but it's heating up on Sunday up to 87.